For the past one week, the internet has been on fire. I mean literally on fire because of one single AI called ChatGPT. Today, I'm going to be exposing a little secret about it. I'm going to be showing you how it works and I'm going to run you through the registration process very quickly so you can have your own chatbot to interact with, okay? So don't go anywhere. I'll be right back just after this intro. Where's the intro? All right, welcome back. So, chat GPT, all right? Chat GPT has been trending for the past one week, and Chat GPT is a chat bot. It's an artificial intelligence that helps you communicate like you're communicating with a normal person. All right, so I'm gonna go right now into my browser and I'll show you this. Okay, so I'll move my face over here. Should I stay right? Should I stay left? Should I stay right? I'll stay at the right. All right, so I'm gonna type in Chat GPT. I already have in the Google search bar quickly see what it says now chat GPT which stands for chat generative pre-trained transformer is a chatbot developed by open AI now it helps you interact in a conversational way as you can see here so I'm not gonna waste any time at all I'm gonna go straight right into it and show you how it works okay so here we go I fell in love with this I used it for the past few days and I totally fell in love with this because of the simplicity of it. So if you come to openai.com slash blog slash chat GPT, you would find their page. I'll move this here so you can see. Full screen, oops. All right. So it says here, we train the model called chat GPT, which interacts in a conversational way. The dialogue format makes it possible for chat GPT to answer follow-up questions. Yay. Admit his mistake, challenge incorrect premises, and reject inappropriate requests. Chat GPT is a sibling model to instruct GPT, which is trained to follow an instruction a prompt and provide you the response. So there is instruct GPT and there is chat GPT. So what we're, what we're basically looking at today is chat GPT, okay? So I'm gonna scroll down a bit and show you it has an example here uh, take a look at this example this is what it can do in the following sample chat gpt asks the clarifying questions to debug code so here we see an example of someone posting a code and say how do i fix this it's not working like i expect and it responds by saying it is difficult to say what's wrong with the code without more context and the rest so let me move straight into it quickly. This video must be as short as possible. It's just an introduction. I want to show you how it works, how you can register and how you can own your own account, right? So once you scroll down here, you click on this place where it says try chat GPT. All right, here we go. So it's checking if our connection is secure. Yes, my connection is secure. Am I secure? All right, so Cloudflare, Cloudflare. We have to verify. Give me a minute. Okay, so we move on right now. So it takes you to this screen. If you don't have an account, this is the first time you are um, coming onto Chat GPT. You would first have to sign up. Okay, you first have to sign up. So let's click on the sign up button. See how it works. So you put in your email address. Uh, Okay, I'm not a robot. Do I look like a robot? I'm not a robot. I am so not a robot, okay? So, bridges. Continue. Okay, so uh, it's asking for the password I wanna use. Um, let's do this quickly. Uh, let's see, uh, what do I wanna use? I think we're good to go. So here we are. So they've sent an email to for me to verify this. I'll do this quickly and I'll get back to this page, alright? Okay, so I have successfully copied the link from my email address. So you open your email, open your Gmail, 
get inside the mail you sent and copy the link or click on the link for verification and this is my link right here so I'll just paste it in and it will verify me so tell us about you my first name is Richard Oops. my last name is Bright my phone number um, Okay, so a code has been sent to my line. I'll quickly get that code and I'll input it in right now. All right, so I have put in the code and immediately I put in the code, it took me here. I'm really sorry, I didn't have the time to um, record that part and immediately I typed in the code, it just went through. So once you put in your code, it immediately loads up this page. All right, so ensure you have a functioning phone number uh, or you could use whatsapp also that's a good thing about it you can actually get the code via whatsapp so let's proceed it says yeah this is a free research preview our goal is to get external feedback in order to improve our systems and make them safe while we have safeguards in place the system may occasionally generate incorrect or misleading information and produce offensive or biased content it is not intended to give advice so you cannot come to chat gpt and ask for advice all right Alright, so next, um, how we collect data. Conversations may be reviewed by AI team to improve our system, that's fine. Please don't share any sensitive information in your conversation. So, don't share your ATM details, don't share your bank account details. No sensitive information, alright? So, the system is optimized for dialogue. Let us know if a response, particular response was good or unhelpful. And then you can share your feedback on Discord server, alright? So we have moved into it. So welcome to Chat GPT. Yay! Drum rolls and you know, all the rest. So let's move in. So straight into it right now, okay? So we're gonna be asking. I am a fan of the dark mode. I, I hope that's fine with you guys. All right. I love the dark mode. It's really cool for me. So this is Chat GPT. This is how it works. This is the whole interface. I'm gonna show you how this works very quickly. I have been using it for the past few days and it's been really helpful to be frank to be truthful it has I've been able to um, optimize most of my profiles using the suggestion it gives I've been able to improve my um, proposals for my online job my freelance job and a lot of things so I, I ask it a series of questions and it generates answers for me which is quite amazing so I'm gonna move straight into it I have another video coming up where I will show you how you can even make a book with it, how you can make a whole book with it. Practical steps, all right? So let's do this quickly. So um, it is also incapable of feelings. Let me show you. So you cannot come here and feel you're chatting with a friend. I know how are you doing? How are you feeling today? Take a look at this. <laughs> so as an artificial intelligence, I do not have feelings in the same way that humans do. However, I am here to help you with any questions or problems you may have to the best of my ability. Is there anything specific you would like to know or discuss? So you, you as much as it's conversational, you can't, uh, you can't express feelings with, you know, you can't say, I love you. <laughs> Thank you for the kind words. Okay, so let's get serious now, I'm sorry. I was just having fun. Let's get serious. All right, so, um, First question, let's ask something quite simple. How can I... Uh, okay, let's do this. Uh, I'm making a video on a book where I explain how to make a book with um, chat GPT. So let me do something relative to that so I could actually... Um, let's see. Give me a book title for a romance novel. Ooh, hot desires. Yay. Okay. So it gives me 10. Um, actually like Passion's Fury and um, Seduced by Love. Ooh, sounds really interesting. All right, so um, let's see. So you can ask simple questions. Um, maths questions. So let's see. Um, let's, let's do this. 
okay 1 plus 3 minus 5 plus 90 let's see yay I don't even know the answer yet so <laughs> okay um So, our answer is 89. 89. Alright. So, to solve this expression, we can use the other operations to determine the correct sequence of which to perform the calculation. You can read through it. I'm, I'm not into that. So, we're just here to understand how it works and how to how to get it. So, let's see. Uh, what, what question can we ask it? Um, okay, let's move back to uh, how uh, give me a proposal for a job opportunity in tech. Okay, opportunity is wrong. Alright, so for a job opportunity in tech or in graphics design. So let's see how it does here. Here's a sample proposal for a job opportunity in graphic design. Take a look at this. Take a look at this. So I'm writing to express my interest in graphic design position in your company. As a highly skilled and creative designer with a strong portfolio of work, I'm confident I can make a valuable contribution to your team. Amazing. This is good. This is good. So basically, I used this kind of strategy, this kind of questions to revamp my um, Oak account, my Oak profile. And I also used a bit of it for my LinkedIn profile. Now, it might not be perfect. I think one of the limitations of let's see of chat GPT is uh, it's I, I believe it's prone to plagiarism I'm still yet to um, solidify my uh, my thoughts all right so let's ask it for his own limitations lack of common sense bias okay Lack of context. Difficulty with real or novel concept. Lack of context. Okay, so I think we can ask it a few questions on its own. Is GPT um, okay? Can it be plagiarized? Hold on. I think I must have missed something, right? Plagiarism is the act of using the work of others without giving prior, proper credit or permission. It is generally considered unethical and punishable by academic or legal consequences. Uh, da, 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 the rest. Um, it is important to note that while the text generated by GPT may be original and not copied from any other source, it is still important to properly cite any inf information or ideas that are not that are used in your own work. Sorry, this includes text generated by GPT or any AI tool. So. Yes, there's a possibility that it can be plagiarized. So it is best for you to um, check out for um, the content it gives you and ensure you're checking out for plagiarism in it, all right? So, and on a scale of um, 1 to 10, for me, I believe that um, ChatGPT is excellent and I would give it an 8 in terms of its responsiveness, interactiveness, and its effectiveness all right it's been a very good tool i've enjoyed using it and i'm still going to use it for more work so i want to urge you if you've not opened an account with it on chat gpt please do it's quite great it's quite fun all right so in the next video i'll be sharing how you can make a book remember i i am where is it up here i had a few ideas for a romance novel all right so in the next video i'm going to be building on one of these topics and showing you how to get your introduction your chapter titles um your introduction i think i've mentioned your introduction chapter titles and the text for each chapter all right so i'm going to basically be showing you how you can make a full book using chat gpt all right so i'll see you guys in the next video all right